Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and today we're going to be continuing the video series on a breakdowns website by installing WooCommerce and getting a shop set up with a WordPress website. So if you're looking to have a bit more control over your website without using services like Shopify, um, and you want everything to be on WordPress, which definitely has a, a gap in terms of uh, skill required to launch, um, we kind of have a, a middle ground now with using Breakdance with uh, WordPress and you're able to create a shop on your website in minimal time, minimal effort that still looks great and gives you the customization and all those options that WordPress allows you to do. Uh, I used to build a bunch of shops on Shopify and Shopify is, is great, was great when I used it, but I didn't like the fact that it locked you in. I love that WordPress lets you customize pretty much anything that you want to do. And then if you combine that with kind of amateur or newer web development skills, and if you're just trying to build a website for a small brand, you know, maybe Shopify is too expensive expensive and then uh, WordPress gives you you know more capabilities so that's what this is for combining with breakdance we are gonna have a great shop so the first thing we'll do is go to plugins and add a new plugin and we're gonna search for WooCommerce and so there's a bunch of WooCommerce plugins that uh, integrate well but we're gonna start by installing WooCommerce and we're gonna set up a store with a few products I'm not sure if I'm going to go into setting up payment gateways and everything now, but a lot of that is self-explanatory and that's just WordPress in general. That doesn't really have anything to do with Breakdance, but I'm going to show you how, how well everything does integrate with Breakdance. So once you install the plugin, you are going to be asked a bunch of questions to kind of start your store going. So I'm going to go and fill this in and we'll be back in a second. Once you type in your address, it's going to ask you what the industry that you're selling is in. If we are going to go along with something in real estate, I'm guessing we could sell, <laughs> I don't know, house mock-ups, pictures of houses. So I'm going to go and say home furniture and garden. And yeah, we'll just go with that. In terms of products, this is a pretty interesting choice. Depending on what you're going to be selling, physical products will have things like you'll need to fulfill these orders. While downloads and subscriptions could be electronic, downloads are going to be, you know, hey, if you're trying to sell maybe rights to a picture uh, or anything like that. But physical products is most likely what people are going to be selling. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just select that. If you want any of these other options, it's going to cost money just with WooCommerce, but uh, do as you wish. But right now, let's just do physical products. Now we'll add some things about our business. Let's say we don't have any products and we're not selling anywhere else. And then now you'll see if we bring down this drop down, this is everything that WooCommerce also wants to install. So if uh, let's start from the top, accept credit cards. We are going to accept credit cards, so we're going to keep this. We could keep print shipping labels on and then sales tax, but I'm not going to install Jetpack. I'm not going to do anything marketing wise. Uh, Google listings and ads could be useful, but again, not going to focus on any of these right now. We're just trying to get the simple shop set up. Okay, and now on this last page, it tells you, hey, do you want to design with a special theme or are we going to continue with the Breakdown Zero theme? Again, this is going to be focused on speed and just ease of use. So if you don't want to have to deal with any of this uh, and then pay for these themes too, go ahead and continue with the active theme that Breakdance has installed. Just like that, Breakdance with WooCommerce is going to be set up. Let's add a sample product and I'm going to add it manually. Just to create something small, let's call this house uh, mockup copy one. Okay, and then I'll just paste this in a few times. Let's say we have a product for $12.99 and we're selling it for $9.99. Here's all the other options that you can click. I will make a video in the future going into WooCommerce more in depth, but again, just going to show the setup today. And then product short description, which is going to be on the shop page. So go ahead and do this, do whatever you want with it, and then publish the product. So same way we worked in the last video with our houses, products kind of work the same way. So we kind of create a product and then it is going to show up on our website. So if we go to pages, we can see that WooCommerce now has all of these pages added to our website by default. We didn't add a shop, they did. There's an account page. There is also a checkout page and a cart page. And so as soon as you navigate to the shop page, which should just be slash shop, you are going to see the products. And just like this, you have a shop that is already working in five, 10 minutes, you now have a whole thing going on. So if you click on the product, it's also going to be formatted really well. This is just default breakdance out of the box. If we did add a product image here or images, we'd see that here. And then the category, the description, the prices with the sale. And all of these options are customizable in terms of if you want to change the color, if you want to change button, uh, size, everything like that, it's all customizable. 
So we could go ahead and add this to the cart, see how this looks. Again, keep all of these colors here, view cart. And just like that, we have a fully working WooCommerce store. Um, when I say fully working, I mean fully like integrated. There's definitely things that you need to do, like add payment options and configure a bunch of things. But if you do want to change things like the text color, you can go ahead and go into Breakdance and edit the global styles of the website. And this is going to bring up this fancy box that we went over before and click on WooCommerce and we have all of these options here. So if we go to buttons and links, we could see this is, I believe, a primary button. We can go ahead and change this color to whatever you want. And again, if you're not looking for any kind of crazy website, you just want to, hey, I'm selling something, here's what it is, then boom, just like this, set it all up, customize it how you want. But the design is already here. There are ways of adding individual or changing this, this layout completely if you're not happy with it. And so I am going to show that real quick. But again, I don't really think it's needed for a vast majority of this. Breakdance really has everything that you need out of the box set up. But if we do go into Breakdance and go into templates, we can add a template and we see these three are for WooCommerce. We've got single products, we've got the shop page and then specific product archives. Our single product is what had our picture on the left, our text and then a description on the bottom. So if we did want to add this as a product, sorry about that, we can go and edit it and then in the editor, now we have a bunch of options to choose from. So we are previewing house mockup copy one because this was that image. It's all going to be under WooCommerce. So you can see all of this, looks beautiful we can go ahead and add the product itself and we get this so um, yeah we can kind of change this however we want to if we want to add more things on the shop page and then you can go ahead and customize everything in here the image move it on the right keep it on the left uh, margins any kind of colors let's see what else we have here um, and yeah so pretty much just like that you could customize it a little bit more in depth and I'd say that for the vast majority of people this is good enough I'm not going to keep this theme because I love how it looks out of the box so just like that if you don't want it anymore head over to the breakdance templates and delete it and so just like that we now have WooCommerce set up go ahead and configure all your payment options which everything is pretty uh, self-explanatory there are other tutorials we'll be releasing some soon of how to set up WooCommerce but at this point this is all WooCommerce this has nothing to do with breakdance nothing to do with anything else breakdance just shows you hey here's how we're gonna lay everything out and then the back end with WooCommerce is all in your settings so if you have set up a WooCommerce shop before great this shouldn't be too hard if you have not it's pretty self-explanatory to walk through but there are other tutorials on how to do this so that's it for today. In our next tutorial, we're going to be going over contact forms. That's a huge thing. So be sure to watch that video too. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps out a lot and see you soon.